1981 was declared the year of the Royal Canal, and it is fitting that our film should start with the small boat rally and walk along the canal held on the 5th of April. The slip, constructed by the Amenity Group and the Inn and Waterways Association, was the starting point. The shed had been completed during the winter months and was used to store the weed boats and the water bus. The rally set off towards Leakslip, some walking and some boating. Here you see Peter Hanna and his family leading the fleet of small boats. At Leakslip, we were joined by Niall Maher, Chief Planning Officer, Kildare County Council, who gave us a most interesting talk about the Leakslip Spa, which in the late 18th century became a popular place to take the waters. He explained how in 1793 some workmen excavating for the Royal Canal had discovered the mineral spring. Moving from the fountain, he showed us how the water was channeled to a basin to form a bath. This has recently been restored by the Kildare branch of Antashka. Under his enlightened guidance, this area is now to be developed by the local authority as an amenity area. The outing was very well attended, and following the talk, everyone had their picnic lunches in the sunshine. Bath is seen here measuring the top gates of the 14th lock just west of Maynooth in order that gates could be made by the Anko apprentices in the lock gate factory at Watling Street. The setting up of this combined Inland Waterways Royal Canal Amenity Group Anko scheme has marked a dramatic turning point in the campaign to restore the Royal Canal. Here, Ian is measuring the top gates of the 17th double lock at Ferns. The immediate objective is to try to restore the five locks, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th and 17th, and thus link the eight mile level from Blanchardstown with the 20 mile level which starts here at Ferns and extends right through to Thomastown near Mullingar, which would make one third of the total length of the canal navigable again. At the same time, work will continue making the locks navigable from Blanchardstown towards the Liffey. <laughs> 